something that's huge around here. It's called prosperity theology. And so I want to generally outline these, these four things so that you kind of understand these are what different people believe in Christianity at large. And so you can understand, is this right? Is this wrong? What does it produce? And I'll be honest with you, right off the bat, these first three that we look at, they're wrong. The first three that we'll look at and that are prominent around here, they're wrong because they don't teach what the Bible teaches. They take verses here and there and try to support these things and try to support these these claims and then they play worship music from their phones during sermons. So, that's awesome. That was a win. So prosperity theology. The glory goes to man. Prosperity theology exalts man, not God. It exalts exalts man by making you rich and successful in all of your worldly endeavors. So have you ever heard this message? Have you ever watched on TV this 30-something-year-old guy that's got like $4 million teeth that'll tell you if God loves you and if you love God, you're going to pay off all your bills, you're going to get out of debt, your life is going to be free from stress, you're too blessed to stress. That kind of stuff, right? You've heard that? So if God loves you and if you love God, you are going to prosper financially, health, wealth, all this kind of stuff. And what happens is that seeks to exalt man by making you rich, and by keeping you successful in all of your worldly endeavors. And so it's fueled by the motive is greed and investment. Because it teaches that if you give to God, you're essentially investing, and God's going to give back to you more money than you gave to Him. So this, this gets in a lot of people that... The biggest church in the United States of America, I use that term church pretty loosely when I say it here, has about 30,000 plus members. It's in Houston, Texas. Joel Olstein's the pastor. I'm just going to keep going. I, I maybe wasn't going to say his name, but I want you guys to know false teachers. I want you to know guys that teach anti-gospel, anti-scripture. They use the Bible, but they teach it in a distorted way to exalt themselves and exalt man. So the biggest church in the United States of America teaches this prosperity theology. It's fueled by greed and investment. If I give, God's going to give me back more. So it's not really fueled by, I want to glorify God and give and love and serve people. It's fueled by, if I give $50, God's going to give me 100 next week. So you go, is that even giving? It's just investing. And so that what comes from this is that your acceptance to God, your salvation, your justification, to use these theology type terms, that you know you are right with God by your amount of faith and physical prosperity in this life. You know that you're saved. You know that God loves you and you love God if your health, wealth, success increases. And so your hope is in that, in your circumstance.